up guys Mike here today I got an insane stock for you guys because I am getting extremely intrigued about this company and it is getting really good at a price that I want to get in and I think you guys need to keep your eyes closely on this company because there is no room but finally it is going to go up and I want to pretty much make sure I am getting the bottom of this stock and writing this all the way back to the top and of course this stock is none other than peloton ticker symbol p t o n now this company has been a very favorite stock of mine i've been trading this company since it was 17 dollars wrote it to 36 sold it wrote, bought back in at 60 sold it at 94 and then it just I didn't get a chance to get back in and it went like all the way to like 160 and now it's come down a lot and it is pretty much getting very interesting it's become pretty much almost a bargain of a deal to buy back in and I think it is going to be a great opportunity to get back into this stock so this stock we are going to go over some charts we're gonna go over some buy targets we're gonna go over some sell targets we are going to go over all that that you know need to know sorry to prepare for this stock so anyways guys let's waste no further time make sure you always destroy that like button hit subscribe it really helps out my channel check out my patreon page come and join us trade with us enjoy the good moments in life that has to offer anyways with that said guys let's begin yeah yeah all right guys let's check out what's going on with peloton ticker symbol p t o n and friday i was very happy it started to move down a little bit more and that is pretty much good news because we are about to get an insane deal on this stock we're about to get some insane deal and, and i'm gonna go over why this company has started going on a downtrend uh it's really a no surprise uh, and a lot of people need to start thinking and uh, using their brains and of course a lot of things are going to happen when you don't use your brain so but anyways with that we're gonna go a little bit later on and discuss why that's the stock is going down let's move on to the charts and as you can see Peloton pretty much hit an all-time high of hundred and seventy one dollars right back in about January right uh, January 13 is the exact uh, 14 actually is the exact date and right now it has just been trading phenomenally uh, so far the lowest of the week has been around $96 and 54 cents uh, closing around 98 on Friday but this is good it is still not a time to buy charts still saying it is still going down a little bit but that's okay I'm okay with that now uh, I'm, I'm getting a better deal as long as it keeps going down we're still getting better deal now where do I see a good price target to maybe start by actually getting in I think 94 might be a good solid bottom even 92 even 95 and a half might even be a good position to start building into um, but I would definitely wait for the spy signal um, because this stock could keep going down right this it's a fast high powered growth stock um, I actually spoke to somebody and they pretty much uh, actually the one of their delivery members right there was a guy who was delivering the machines and I was able to pass by him and I spoke with him and I'm like hey how's your delivery business going and he was telling me oh my gosh man we are just getting insane amounts of orders and they're just like backed up with orders still right like they have so much orders still coming in that they are just have are getting backed up all right so people are still buying peloton regardless of the lawsuit that just uh took place with us uh one of these people's parents and you really have to think about it right uh, you're a parent you're a mother right you are you you can't be that stupid to let your child come close to the machine right when you're on the machine you got to be careful of your own kids right the machine the company doesn't have to be careful of your kids you should be careful of your own kids right you know things are dangerous right you shouldn't let your kids play near things that are dangerous right if you're going to do that you make sure you are uh, being safe around them when they're doing that anyways so i felt like it was absolutely retarded that this parent was suing peloton for for having her own kid getting hurt right because it just doesn't make sense that you would let your own child play near a machine uh, that is extremely dangerous that could cause a lot of damage sure peloton couldn't should have could have should have and they 
must have put a message on the machine saying, please don't play near the machine, especially if you're a kid, right? No, duh. Obviously, they expected parents to be smart enough to not let their kids near machines like this, right? Anyways, guys, just be careful with this stock. It is a high-powered growth stock. It can move very quickly down, but at the same time, it can move very quickly up right so where do i see a good buy i think around 94 bucks 95 bucks might be a great buying opportunity to start building your position in and as it keeps going down i would adding on shares keep adding a little bit little by little and finally once you get a huge bullish uh buy signal that's when you gotta really load up on you gotta load up on the stock and ride it where do i see this going i think there's a lot of resistance right now at around uh, 115. I think the stock could get up to 15, 115, and uh, we might see it go down again. But if it does break this resistance right here, a uh, lot of resistance right here. If it breaks this, we could see it going to around 125. Right? That that's where I see it going. It's possible. 124, 125 is the next leg up. If it breaks resistance, if we break that, which is going to be very, very hard to do. Last time it did, it tried and failed, and it went right back down. As we can see, we had a huge pullback. Uh, it tried and failed, right? If it can break 125, 124, we can see the next leg up, which is going to be around 145. I don't expect it to get there, but if it does, it will be an amazing trade. Uh, it could be the next leg up, even 135. So the, these are your targets, right? These are your buy, buy, your, your buy signals right around here. Your sell targets are going to be right here, 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 and here, right? Uh, but just be careful. It's a high-powered growth stock. The stock can continuously move downwards. And at the same time, once it's on a bullish run, it can move slightly, very quickly right back up. Um, so definitely keep your eye on this. Uh, I think it's worth a trade to get in. Um, slowly start building your position. And once it gets around the $94, $95 range, and that's where I'm going to be buying my shares. I do not own any shares right now, but I do plan on adding around that range there. Like I said, there is a class action lawsuit against Peloton going on. That is why the stock traded downwards. I'll leave a link into the description box for you guys for to check this um, um, action going on, this class action, this lawsuit, this article telling you what's going on. Pretty much, the, like I said during, during the video, uh, some some poor, unfortunate child was uh, had had suffered some injuries because the, the mother wasn't keeping an eye on her child and it got too close to the machine. And yeah, um, the poor child did get hurt. So it, it resulted in injury, which is unfortunate, right? But uh, I can't stress enough. Some parents really need to be more logical, right? You got to take care of your kids. You got to take you got to take the blame for yourself. You know, you weren't a good parent when you let this happen, right? When you let your child, again, near a machine that is highly dangerous, that makes you an un, a not very good parent, right? You need to keep watch on your kids. You need to be careful where, what your kids do, especially if they're little, right? They don't know what this machine really does. They don't know how dangerous it can be. You have to keep your eyes uh, on the machine, right? And it, it, it led to a tragic death of a child, which is very serious. Uh, I'm not going to... Be, be sugarcoating this. This is extremely serious and it's very unfortunate. Uh, I really wouldn't want my kids or even pets near a machine like this and have them getting injured. It's just not something I look forward to, but you have to be smart about what you put in your house near children, near pe pets, because they don't know what this machine could really do to them, right? They don't have that thinking process. They're kids. They're just kids. They're small, right? Once they grow older, like they become adults, yeah, um, you wouldn't expect them to act such childish, right? But that's what happened. That's what caused the stock to plunge um, the last few weeks, you can say it. Uh, it was trading nicely around 115, 116, which is pretty much our target of selling it. And unfortunately, it led to some kind of injury and the company did get sued. And that's what's going to happen, right? But all I can tell you guys is that this company is getting insane orders. Um, there's getting a lot of orders coming in. If we can check out some tip ranks and see where this company is forecasted to be um, by the analysts, they think what, what it's worth. Um, I think this company is worth around at least 115, but they're targeting $158, right? So the upside is around 60%. You got a 60% gain. I don't think it's going to get there. I, I think that's asking way too much because there's just so much uh, resistance, right? There is some support level here, but uh, it still could drop, right? If we look at the um, 
the month, weekly chart, we could see how far back we can see it. It has some support around the 90s, right? But if it falls, we can see it going to around 73, right? I highly doubt it will break the $90. It's just asking way too much for it to break that. Uh, I think it's going to be holding pretty nicely around the 90. Lowest maybe might go to 92, uh, maybe even $90 flat, 91, 92. But I don't see it breaking it. There's just so much support level here. And there's a lot of resistance here at 114, 115, 116. Uh, 110 might be a little bit hard to break because that around 111 that's the 200 day moving average right so you can expect it breaking that 200 day moving average bro trading above that it starts to become a lot more bullish right we just have to see that 111 get broken uh the five day moving average is nice right uh if we if we see this five day and the 20 getting above these which is going to be above 10 110 that will be ideal right uh one right now we need it past 100 right the five day moving average right now is 100 and if it breaks the 20 day moving average which is 110 that could be a super bullish signal that it is going to start rocketing upwards so good luck with this trade guys i think we can make a lot of revenue from this this could be a great trade and i am looking very forward to trading this company with you guys thanks again for watching my video as always make sure to destroy that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so youtube could alert you when my next video comes out also guys feel free to add me on instagram i pretty much post there daily i post some buy sells and a lot of the unique things that you need to know about the market so check the link in the description box for my instagram but also most of my trades will be done on the patreon page so check me out over there come trade with us you won't be sorry because you'll be making some nice deals because the market is about to take some nice deals coming up so make sure to check out in my patreon page come trade with us anyways also guys don't miss out on the promotion going on right now with webo where they're giving four free stocks Two when you sign up to use their platform and two more when you make a uh, deposit of $100 or more, you'll get another two free stocks. And yes, you do have to deposit those $100 to get those extra two free stocks. And two of those will be valued at $8 all the way up to $1,600. So check the link in the description box below for that. If you want another free stock, first trade gives out pretty good stocks. Check the link for that one. And finally, we have Robinhood. Check the link for that one as well. Thanks again for watching my video, and until next time, make money with Mike.